All right, first pie guy here. I'll try to make this quick as possible. But you're looking at the uh, Ant Miner V9. This is like a beginner level, I guess you could say, uh, miner here. Uh, and then I got the uh, Bitmain uh, power supply. And I went ahead and hooked up all these connections. There's 10 connections on the uh, power supply. You'll need all 10, three for each card here. Then one to control the uh, circuit board for the fans and the miner itself. I have it plugged into uh, ethernet. This is just power wire from the fans there. It pulls air in here in the front and blows it out the back. Uh, the cord I'm using for this right now is a 12 gauge uh, power cord. Um, <clears throat> so like I said in my previous video, this is a DHCP with a uh, username and password of uh, root, which you can change. And I have my little uh, kilowatt type thing here to see how many watts and amps this does. Uh, I did power it up the other day and it runs around 10 amps and up to like 1300 watts on uh, 120 AC. So this thing is not very quiet. So get ready for noise. It's just starting to come on, the fans on and the power supply. As you can see, some action going on here. This thing will get really loud, then it'll calm down a little bit, but it's still pretty noisy. <clears throat> but it gets really noisy here in a couple seconds or so. So you'll have to find the IP address of your miner, log into your router or you use a ping app or something on your phone but uh, here we go like I said it is uh, pretty noisy when it first fires up so might not be a good idea to put this in the living room Unless you want to upset the wife or whatnot. So anyway, now it's a little calmed down. Green lights flashing. So we'll go over here to our uh, computer. And what we'll do is we'll just type in the uh, IP address of this. And uh, I'm already logged into it. But like I said, it'll come up with a box. You just put in root root. So as you can see, some basic information here. Uh, you can change your password. You got your monitor here. Kernel log update reboot. So the main thing is here is to uh, set up your pools one, two, and three with the uh, the address, your worker password. I'm just using this stuff for temporarily for now I'm probably going to change pools I don't really like this one too much so uh, once you have all your stuff in you'll just want to come down here and hit save and apply and it's going to reboot it so every time you save it it reboots the miner so then once you're done you got everything in you can come over here and uh, look at your uh, stats of everything of it coming up it shows your uh, fan speed of each fan the rpms then uh, the temperature the frequency and so forth and your uh, difficulty and whatnot so you click on network you can change it from DHCP to a uh, static IP change the host name if you feel like you have a diagnostic uh, 
ping here that you can do and like I said this is just the main page you can upgrade it and back it up so uh, and under advanced tab you have your frequency that you can change it to whatever and like I said you can just gotta hit uh, save and apply so right now if we go back we're at 54 degrees Celsius. Obviously, that's not Fahrenheit, but uh, but anyway, as you can see. So uh, hopefully, this helps you out, and uh, stay tuned for another one.